Yeah, I'm going. That was so funny. Nice woman out here, boy. There's a beautiful Israelite princess, princesses out here. Say so they say we don't talk good about the woman. We talk good about them all the time. Like damn, she got a bad hands. We like bitches. We like bitches. Yeah. I treat them good too. I gotta get me a little Israelite princess. I wanna treat her good. You know what I mean? But I ain't, I ain't found one that's gonna treat me good. So it got, it got to go both ways. They don't have no conversations when they talk about they're going to meet a man that would have reached to their intelligent level and shit. But when you meet them, they silence, ain't got nothing to stay constantly listening to you. That's that bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? They say, I want somebody who's intelligent that can hold an intelligent conversation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. You can't help but laugh. Yeah, you just got to laugh at that shit. If I actually start speaking intelligence, she's just going to be like, oh. Uh, uh, Who are you? Huh? You know, to a woman, intelligence means that you know all the names of all the actors. You know who produced which album. That's intelligence. Yeah. You you know who directed this movie. That's intelligence. To these women, intelligence is how best worldly you can be. Yep. Here we go. This is Second Maccabees nine and one. About that time came Antiochus with dishonor out of the country of Persia, for he had entered the city of per 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 Persepolis and went about to rob the temple and to hold the city. Yeah, that was, uh, that was one, that when Alexander made that city his capital. Yeah, that's a, it's yo, a yo. Right oh, man. Oh, man. Say, we, we don't hate women. We love them. And it's like, y'all lust, y'all lusting after women. See, only an Israelite woman built like that, man. You'll see other nations do be fine, though. Yeah, yeah. But Israel got a little extra something, something. Yep. <laughs> hey, because the scripture don't went today about how the Israelite woman is beautiful. Yo, extra. I think it's extra. Okay. Don't talk about how oh yeah, they said it's more lively. Yeah, they got different spirits. Yeah, even they spirits are different. Cause just because uh, you an Israelite don't don't mean you gotta have the fattest ass. And, Cause you got you got an Israelite woman that got no ass and no titties, but they still, still be fine as hell. They still, yeah, they still yeah. got that beautiful. Not that sexy. Yeah. Right. Um. Back to and to hold the city whereupon the multitude run to defend themselves with their weapons put them to flight. And so it happened that Antiochus being put to flight of the inhabitants returned with death. Now when he came to Ecbatane, news was brought him that had happened unto Nicanor and Timotheus. Then swelling with anger, he thought to avenge upon the Jews the disgrace done unto him by those that made him flee. Therefore, command yeah, uh, uh, his chariot man to drive without ceasing. Uh, I just got empty out here. Yeah, two thirds. He thought to avenge upon the Jews of his grace done unto him by those that made him free. Therefore, commanded he his chariot man to drive without ceasing and to dispatch the chariot. The judgment of the Most High now following him, for he has spoken proudly in this sort, that he will come to Jerusalem and make it a common burying place of the Jews. But the Lord Almighty, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the power of Israel, smote him with an incurable and invisible plague. For as soon as he has spoken these words, a pain of the violence that was remedied came upon him in sour torment of the inner parts. Now you know what it feels like when you got you got diarrhea. You got to go let it loose. If I was like multiply ten times, hundred times, that's a hell of a feeling. You got to go shit man. with diarrhea though. Not a normal shit. Man. I'm talking about diarrhea. When you got what's, a stomach. What's that? One, what's that one disease that uh, dysentery? Over and 
they hit get hit over there and get them with. Yeah, you'll shoot yourself to death. Yes, yep. Yemen, you know that's how Syria. You know actually that's how King James died. Damn. I know he was because sick. Yeah, yeah, he was sick, sick a lot. I know. Uh, I believe. I think it was the first thing that I think they stole the ark or something like that. Yeah. And the Lord punished them. I forgot what the disease called, but I looked it up. It's like something with the you know halo and shit like. Oh God! Didn't he hit him with lights too or something too? He, he fucked them up, man. Because they would stole the art, yeah. You know, that Black Plague is coming from the storm comeback, man. That's Because they got them dumbass jakes over in Madagascar doing these rituals when they live with dead bodies. And they, birthdays come around or something comes around, some ritual, they take the dead bodies out the grave, <laughs> dress them up <laughs> with these bodies got all kind of disease. You know, dead bodies carry disease, man. Who the hell in their right mind would dig up a dead body? Right. Eagle, I, I think it's Eagle. Eagle. His wife died. He's trying to put him sick with the dead body. Hey, the Norse, uh, who? Elon. Like yeah. Elon. That's what. And then you got, you got like the Norse pagans. It was their custom to, uh, to well, even the Celts too. They, you know, when Julius Caesar went into uh, Gaul, he seen that the Celts had all these skulls everywhere. But that was the skulls of their ancestors, and they would talk to them and pray to them. You know what I mean? That, that's what Halloween was a part of what Halloween was all about. It's going uh and it's saying you will talk to the, the dead spirits. That's necromancy. And, they, and I heard I heard Norris Peck is going to it. They said they would they would go into the graves on Halloween or whatever and talk to the uh and they would try to figure out who they was in their past life. Uh, uh, it's a part of that shit. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, they need the way my take. Festival. That's a part of the festival too. People will come around all the around the whole world going to that festival. The day of the dead. I think it's like a week long festival. I know it's some days, a few days. Fucking Mexicans. Hey, them Mexicans are ruthless murderers. The Ishikar? They get busy. Right what they, oh, it was wicked like that. Man, look at the tribe of Levi. The scriptures even say that wickedness and cruelty is in their uh, hands or something like that. They be down there in Haiti, uh, uh, turning people into zombies. You know what I mean? That's where the word zombie is a Haitian word, ain't it? I believe it is. Cause a, they got actual zombies down there. And that food made a documentary we're looking for. <laughs> I think it was a place. What's a place? Or was it somebody else? Yeah, I think it was. We're actually looking for the, 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 eh. the serum. <laughs> yeah, I, they say they got it from a blowfish or something. Or something I crazy. Know. I can't I remember. Know. Man, you gotta be out your fucking mind, <laughs> man. Looking for yeah, that's that's Esau. We'll go looking for the black. Let me go find this black flag. And, <laughs> and go investigate this. <laughs> God damn. Experiment. <laughs> God damn. You trying to fuck with no black flag? You gotta be out your mind. <laughs> Okay, first thought, but the Lord Almighty, the power of Israel, smote him with an incredible, invisible plague, for as soon as he had spoken the word, the king of the battle, who was limitless, came upon him the sour torment of the inner part. And that most justly, for he had tormented up in these battles with many strange torments. Strange torment. What the fuck was this freak doing? Oh, freak. Oh, freak. I knew a fucking torment. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Tear growing up, man. It was always cool. Crazy shit, man. I saw him off of the stick of a pop bottle up a crack his ass. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, shit. I didn't tear do it, man. It just got real. Dude just got up. I swear, <laughs> man. Dude just, dude just got up and just walked out of his crib, man. You know? That's crazy. Because Esau's nasty, man. Nasty. He, he, well, there's no limits. <laughs> I mean, that's why, I mean... Hey, that's why it's legal to be a homosexual. Not just to be a homosexual, you can get married, you'll get uh, certain benefits for being a homosexual. Donald Trump tried to uh, ban trannies from the military and they blocked it. You know what I mean? They blocked it. I mean, you don't want no tranny, trust me, I was in the Marines, you don't want no trannies. In the, maybe some of y'all might like that shit. You know what I mean? You probably love it. That's some real shit, man. Training. In the military. 
Could you imagine you out on the battlefield fighting trannies? The Russians just gonna stop and laugh at you Trinity. before they shoot you. Oh, that's crazy. You, they might win from the last little bit. Yeah. <laughs> trannies, man. Trannies. You think Russia got trannies in their military? No, no. They hide that shit, man. They keep that shit. Yeah, they keep that shit. They, they keep it on the low. Yeah, they keep it on the low. Right. You know what I'm How you doing? It's good. What's that? The Hebrew Israelites. Prophets of the Lord. Right. I came in here. Morris Temple? Oh, I don't know. We don't deal with the Morris Temple. I thought y'all was the Morris Temple. Tell them the word. Tell them the word. We don't say so. Morris were Israelites, though. Big old day, man. Morris, listen. This is sweet. Morris were Israelites, though. They were just going on. Accepting the uh, Islamic uh, uh, religion. That's going on. We're Hebrew Israelites. We're not Muslims. You know what I'm saying? We're Hebrew Israelites. Somebody told me you're supposed to be associated with our soldiers. That's somebody that's lying. You're a Hebrew Israelite. You're a Hebrew Israelite. That's your nationality. Oh, this is church right here. Oh, that's good. What's y'all down here doing, man? I can't come back here. Where are you coming from? 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 It's all good. You're glad you showed up, though. Yeah, you can come out here every Monday and listen to us. We come out here every day, every Monday, at the same time, so people won't, so they can find the work, you know? So, you got to go and ask them. Go and ask them. You sit with the Bible. You sit part of the Bible. Yeah, this is what you call the Bible. Oh, they the Bible. Five days a week, dick. Five days a week, Monday to Friday. I'm not even sure. I'm on my second battery. Oh, she got that part right. She was a black man. What was wrong? What are you doing? Talk to him. Yeah, talk to us now. Don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of lies. They go, so in, anytime somebody's out here doing good, they're going to demonize you, okay? They still do the same thing today. Look what they did to like Malcolm X. They demonized him and said he was the devil. So they did the same thing to King James. They, they demonized him. They'll, they'll tell lies, say he was a homosexual. We, we know, we heard it all. They're going to demonize him. When he was clear, he spoke out against homosexuals. You know what I mean? That's why the most high you still. Because they don't want you to read that Bible. Hey, get Song of Solomon 105. That's why they don't want you to read the King James Bible. Because the King James Bible is one of the only Bibles that actually says the word black and it says the Israelites are black. The other Bibles would change it and they'll be like, they'll change the word, they'll take the word black out of there. You know what I mean? So, so this devil's very crafty. Song of Solomon 105. I am black. That's, all the other Bibles don't say that. They'll change black to swarthy, or uh, you know, they'll change the words. <laughs> and you get all the, uh, you gotta get on Bible Gateway. You can look up all the versions and compare them. It says, "I am black, but family owes daughters of Jerusalem as the tents of Kedar." And Kedar also means black. It means actually, Kedar actually in Hebrew means dark-skinned man. Actually, the tents of Kedar, it means a, uh, because Kedar was the, was the son of Ishmael, right? That's right. And, it, and the, he was a dark, because even the Ishmaelites were originally dark skinned. All you know? nations. Yeah, all nations. That's what, like I said, we out here at the same time every Monday, you know? We don't take days off, you know? We come out here so the people can so find us so they can work. We, we get out here about 2 30, 3 o'clock every Monday. Lower Willing. Lower Willing will be out here. Bring some brothers with you too if they want to learn. I don't know nobody out here. I'm not from out here. Where are you from? Detroit. Detroit. What you doing here? Money. Money? Making that money. Getting paper that paper. Chasing. <laughs> paper Jobs. Chasing, huh? Ain't no money up in Detroit, ain't it? You don't know. 18, huh? It's about 18, 19. No, I'm old. You old? <laughs> oh. What you mean you old? Oh, it's my like the half life mark. Don't worry about it. Oh. It's nice talking to y'all. Hey, what it? <laughs> Alright. I'll see y'all. Alright, dude. 
Man. She have, she have blue eyes too. You think they were? I saw the I can see the thing because one of them is you can see black was uneven you know contact. I, well, I got like gray eyes, but you know really when you got blue eyes. <laughs> you know what blue eyes mean though, right? When you got blue eyes, that means your eyes lack melanin. And uh, trust me, like in the summertime, it gets real bright. It's hard for me to see sometimes. Even in the, like, especially when it's snow out, a lot of snow, I get snow blinded. You know what I mean? It's even brighter when you, you got, it's even brighter when you got eyes like mine. Rain at night, they got a hell of a glare off of it. on fire I don't know where we at now <laughs> but yeah but you hear people say like your girls say that see see there's a popular thing when people always say, uh, say King James is a homosexual you can't trust King James man the devil always that's the devil man that's the serpent right there <laughs> everybody everybody try to get you to uh, reject that King James Bible even though the king, no. what? They po They can't pull people over, can they? I don't know. I doubt it. That's real police. Huh? Police response unit. Oh yeah, he kicked us out the bus stop. The Asian, the Asian, he was a J too. Yeah, yeah. That was back in the. We cussed everybody out back there, boy. Most that was the spirit back in them days, though. Wow, well, he was cussing out helicopters. We trying to stay out the rain, man. That motherfucker said, "Y'all got to get the fuck out the rain." Yeah, that's okay. That's a, I'm merciful. He trying to get some shelter. He's like, "Y'all can't stay in there." That motherfucker's raining. He got the spirit of Cain on him. He ain't his brother's keeper. That's a foul spirit right there. That's <laughs> a hell of a spirit. Right? <laughs> you got that Mahabharata spirit. <laughs> Here we go back to second Maccabees 9. Look at you. You're talking about spirits. We got another one. Look at your boy. <laughs> shit. Boy, the heathen spirit, boy. He's bouncing off the wall. That's nice. But you see the most high though, man, he's so creative. Cause you know, you know really the most high created heathens to give us something to laugh at. You know, cause they're your servants and stuff, you know? Cause you imagine in the kingdom what kind of court jesters we want to have. You're gonna have some heathens with the funny hat. If you, you, you get bored, you want a good laugh, get that heathen in here. Make me laugh. <laughs> Hey, did you hit the trap door on him? No, nope. it don't make you laugh. You hit the trap door. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to go with time. That's when you're gonna be at all rest, boy. You put a heart brush and shit. You see, you make that like a new guy. You're gonna have to go with that. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's really sweet. What? He's gonna be like, your royal penis is coming, your highness. <laughs> Of his body were much pain. The 
does rip off of that track, and of course, man, he was fucked up. And thus he, that a little before, thought he had might command the ways of the sea. So proud was he beyond the conditions of man, and weighed the high mountains in a balance, was now cast on the ground and carried in the, and carried in and horse litter, showing forth unto all the manifest power of the Most High, so that the worms rose up out of the body of this wicked man. This oh, man that's, that's just like, uh, that sounds like the swine's flesh. You know, I'd be having the bu bugs and oh, the worms and the swine. Oh, when they had the weeds, man, that they, she had uh, bags in her hair. They was trying to remove the weeds, man. That's just real, too. That's yeah, possible. That's that weed was probably taken from the dead body. I'll have to check it out. That's nasty. see a scar and shit. And the other one, she had maggots on the eyes and shit. She's still crying. Fucking the office taking the shit out. That's what happens to it, too. That's my worst friend. That's disgusting. That's the fucking disgusting. It says, so that the worms rose up out of the body of this wicked man. And while he lived in sorrow and pain, his flesh fell away. And the filthiness of his smell was noisome to all his army. Damn. Oh, stinking ass. Oh, stinking ass. <laughs> stinking ass. They was probably ready to kill him himself. Like, we gotta get this guy out of here. Hey, that mother gonna have a mutiny over that one. Yeah, right. Get this smelly bastard out of here. Hey, that you could take his ass in the battle, scare away the enemy. Yeah. Oh, the hand mice one. Ooh, that's a little rat or a little rat. A raccoon or something on the street. That smell. Yeah, yeah. That decomposed smell is a hell of a You don't want to smell that shit. And over there at Mount Vernon now, you should ride by these people's houses with dead animals on the street. So funky. These people every day were still sitting up under their gazebo, drinking coffee and drinking. Like the smell didn't affect them, man. I couldn't believe it. Um. <laughs> and the man that thought a little before he could reach the two stars of heaven, no man could endure to carry for his intolerable stink. Here, therefore, being played, he began to leave off his great cry. And to come to the knowledge of him himself, to the scourge of the Most High, he realized I'm a piece of shit. The knowledge of himself, he realized what kind of devil he really is. The most High is bad, man. He make you look like shit quick, too. <laughs> shit. His pain, his pain increasing every moment. And when he himself could not apply his own spell. Woo! -wee. He said these words, it is meet to be subject unto the Most High, this is a devil, and that a man that is mortal should not proudly think of himself as it were, as if he were the Most High. This really is the devil, this is a he. This wicked person vowed also unto the Lord, who now no more would have mercy upon him, saying thus, that the holy city to the which he was going to haste, in haste, to lay it even with the ground and to make it a common burying place, he would set in liberty, set in liberty. And as touching the Jews, whom he had judged not worthy so much as to be buried, but to be cast out with their children, to be devoured of the fowls and wild beasts, he would make them all equals to the citizens of Athens. In the holy temple, which being he had spoiled, he would garnish with goodly gifts and restore all the holy vessels with many more. You know, they say they're going to make it just like Athens? Yep. Did you, yeah, because that's the same thing they do today. They want to make the rest of the world America. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're going, that's what Alexander was doing when he went through with his army. Like that Persopolis, he was going around naming every city. Alexander. There's like 10 Alexandrias, you know what I mean? But he, he would go and... It's, and Pretty much turn every other country into Athens. You know how America is separated into ten parts? Yeah. Athens was separated into ten parts. Well, yeah. Same shit. Same government. That's why they want to go around the world and uh, install their own democracy. 
put their little puppet kings, set their puppet kings up. Okay, Iran. Well, yeah, they over there stirring shit up right now. That's the United States behind that revolution. No sense. They restore all the holy vessels with me. Many more. Not really. And out of his own revenue, 